Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Rangers taking on Air United just now which is funny since Rangers actually took on Air United uh, recently in the Cup we've beaten them 8 times we've played them, I'm surprised we've played them as many as 8 times but we've beaten them all 8 times am I reading that right? Jordan Rhodes is playing for them is that the Jordan Rhodes? Huddersfield play? Yeah, it is indeed the Jordan Rhodes uh, 33 years old now and still get really good t uh, technicals and mentals but physically obviously not what he used to be but he's probably a really good player for the air I would say still even at this level um, I'm going to throw in a couple of rotational boys throw in McCrory uh, Connor Moore hmm, fitness test's a bit iffy on Connor Moore but we'll throw in Burjonas for Pez put Chia Cherry back in for Mabudi I'm going to start Arp ahead of Morelos and I'll throw Tim Gallagher in there for Fassi because why the hell not They're not play. Oh, yeah, they couldn't play uh, Jordan Rhodes. That's what it was telling me. Uh, so they're playing a four-four-one-one. Is that Ewan Henderson? It is Ewan Henderson. I thought he was more of a midfielder, the Hearts player. Nonetheless, it should be a walkover today. I expect nothing but a win from this match. Encourage the boys to start. Dumbia playing it forward to Zanata as they get underway. Is this the young boy? Uh, it was the young boy who played it in Napoli. It's very interesting. He's ended up at Air United. Mackay playing it to Dom Thomas now and Mayuba. That's over the top to Anderson. He's in. He almost sneaks it round McCrory. And Air United almost draw first blood. No, it's given right to Arp though. Can we draw first blood now? Then let off with a little warning. Nope, Mayuba wins it back. Thomas forward, away by Wallace. Comes to Byram. Here we go. Quickly over the top now. Nixa battling, wins a battle, whips her in. Chia Cherry nods her off the post. Penalty kick. Fieti Arp brought down. And he will step up. Got to bury this son against Griffiths. Boom, in it goes. Fieti Arp, 21st goal of the season from the young German, gives us a lead. And we are rocking. Grant now to Holt. Come on, pinch it and break. Back to Grant. Back to Holt. Yeah. Bit of a speculative effort, easily over the bar. The crowds have actually stopped coming now. Presumably they're bored. Presumably they just expect that we're going to slap these teams and there's no point in even coming to see it. Players are actually looking quite tired out there, particularly Marcel Edelman. I will throw Molina back on there as the wing back again. We're on course for 16 from 16 here only 1-0 at the break tell them again not to get complacent some of them uh, stressed reacting negatively to that but whatever they'll get over it uh, we will as I say throw on Walter Molina for Edelman we'll make him this kind of winger position out there um, I'm going to throw on Fassi for Gallagher as well get a bit more class and experience in the midfield as we try and bury them 1-0 is always a bit sketchy you never know could be a long hoof up the field, Denswell gets caught underneath it and then Henderson sticks it away and all of a sudden season's worth of good work is at the windy. Why are they looking nervous and complacent? Calm down damn it, it's only Air United. Say United at home and they're looking nervous and complacent. Burjonas' delivery breaks to Mixer. Looking to get a bit of space, Jesus, dearie dearie me. I don't know what he's trying there. So everyone's been poor today, even Fieti Arp who got the goal is on a 6.6. .6. I'll throw Morelos on for him. The goal technically was a penalty so I suppose it doesn't boost his rating that much but he still had to do the business. Stepped up, tucked it away and got his the three points that's that's winning the game right now so I think it's harsh to give him a low rating. But Jonas pings it in, Wallace heads it, there you go, Murray Wallace has absolutely confirmed the three points. Thank God for that. And that'll be 16 from 16. Hopefully, McCrory can get himself a wee clean sheet. Ian Fulton will be raging <laughs> when we rotate McCrory in. We finally put up a solid uh, defensive performance and get a clean sheet for once. Well, we're on course for it anyway. There's still a little bit of time. Molina over the top to Mixer. It's got to be a square ball. Nah, he shoots himself. And it's super easy for Griffiths to block that. 
Morelos' corner, Fassi's header, easy for Griffiths. And that's probably going to be the last bit of action here at Murrayfield. Three minutes added on. Comes and goes without much event. And it is going to be a 2-0 victory. So we're no longer hitting teams for 7 or 8, but we are still comfortably beating sides. And we're still perfect in league. Oof, as Griffiths uh, spills Molina's cross over his own bar. It was a very strange piece of goalkeeping. But Jonas will be allowed to take the corner. No, he won't be allowed to take the corner. And it is 2-0 final score. Fine, well done, lads. Good win for us. Nothing more to say. Murray Wallace, man of the match. Says it all about the quality of the game, I think. Uh, he did bag a goal, but not a lot happening really in the game. Houston with a goal and two assists as St. Johnson puts six past Dundee. Gets a 9.3 rating. Good for him. Is he developing? No, he's, he looks a decent player, actually. Uh, we hammer here United, as expected. We maintain our winning, st winning streak. Ralph Hazenhotel, who is now the city boss, was watching Edelman. Actually, where did we get Edelman? We got him from uh, Wil uh, Wolfsburg. I was wonder pondering for a second if maybe we got him from Leipzig, where Hazenhotel was the, the manager previously, but no, nah, we got him from Wolfsburg. Celtic, Dundee United. Mikael Lustig, Celtic get the victory against Dundee United they don't absolutely slap them but it is a victory for Lustig on his managerial debut I kind of hope they stick with Lustig I'm just curious to see how that would go as we're about to take on Hamilton it should be a par for the course routine victory I think the Champions League draw is today we are seeded for the draw and we can get Atletico, Dortmund, Marseille, Roma, Real Madrid, Valencia. The seeded teams, interestingly, include Lisbon and Napoli, but we probably would have rathered being seeded to not. Can't get Barca, of course, because they were in the group. We just want to avoid Real Madrid, really. Everybody in Atletico Madrid. The rest of them, I feel we can take. Roma will play Monaco. Real Madrid will play Juventus. Thank God for that. Marseille, yes, give me them. Play Lisbon. How is that a knockout tie? Jesus. Dortmund will play Napoli. Leon, give me them, will play Arsenal. Atletico Madrid play Rangers, of course. Barcelona get Manchester United. At least uh, at least they didn't get an easier draw for finishing second. They've got Man United. We, of course, have to take on Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a tough one uh, against Atletico. Did we play them before? Uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> let's see past meetings <coughs> no we've never played Atletico Madrid before so no history to, to go on there but of course we were finalists last season's Champions League knocking out in the process Monaco knocking out Chelsea so you never know our knockout opponents were Leipzig Chelsea and Monaco which is kind of easier than a lot of the ties could be. I would actually argue that all three of them are easier than Atletico Madrid, so we're already starting off with a harder one in this season's Champions League. Um, obviously, all the players are now subject to speculation and interest from other clubs. Ian Fulton will come back in for this one, see if he can get himself a wee clean sheet. I will also be restoring Conor Moore ahead of Gallagher. I think he's fine, isn't he, now? Yeah, Conor Moore is more or less fine. Um, I'll restore Molina ahead of Remus Mixer but we'll leave Fieti Arp on he did score last time although he didn't play particularly well he got the goal that put us in the lead for most of the game so we kind of drop him for that it was a penalty but you still have to score them we've seen Trent Alexander-Arnold blaze one in a recent game so it's not always as easy as it sounds to score a pen Looking to go 17 from 17. Almost half of a season. Perfect. Alexander Arnold, Edelman, Molina, back to Edelman, shaping up a bit. Into Arp, hits a post. And thankfully for Arp, he is offside because that would have been a sitter. Molina now whips it in. Great ball. Arp down. Byron Barr and cleared away by Andy Halliday, of all people. But Jonas's ball back in. Away by Halliday. Breaks to Moore. But Jonas. Molina Moore blazes it good start from his open a lot of pressure on them Densville finds Moore 
Opens up for a shot, blazes it well wide again. Six shots. Seven shots now to none, but only one of our shots on target. It's not good enough. We need to increase the accuracy up top. The 6.6 is all round for the forwards is a shocking return. And all of a sudden, all that early pressure for the first 20 minutes has died out. It's Costa now for Hamilton. Logan Costa finds Andy Halliday, whips him a decent ball. Alexander Arnold back out to him. Halliday finds a great cross to Murdoch, and it's easy for Fulton. As Murdoch fires it in, Fulton finds Denswell now. Do we have a an option? Denswell over the top. Arpazan holds off a defender. Lovely first touch. Great save by Marfing, the goalkeeper. But it's a poor finish by Arp. He's got to, he's got to score that one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It is nil-nil half time. A frustrating game. I'm going right through them at half time. It's unacceptable how you've played. Chia Cherry is coming off for Mabudi. Mabudi seems to be good for a goal all the time now. And I'm also going to bring on Fassi in the midfield. But Jonas can continue. Connor Moore will be dropping out. Question is whether you bring on Morelos or whether you go with Pérez. Hopefully we don't need to make a decision. Hopefully we will be 1-0 up before long. We don't need to think about it. As Doherty finds Koulibaly, nicked by Wallace, Burjonas, Mabudi. All the way back to Alexander-Arnold, Byron, Burjonas. We're moving it nice and crisply now. It's a lovely ball. Burjonas finds Edelman. Put a good cross in, son. Byline whip on a plate. Oh, how does he miss? How does Mabudi miss? You could credit Marfang with a save there, but that was terrible by Dapo Mabudi. And we're on the verge of losing perfection now. Edelman to Burjonas, crosses blocked back to Molina. Searches out Byram, down the right, Mabudi, nice turn, stands it up, Edelman heads it for goal, that's a poor decision, crosses it though, Mabudi, oh my god, how does he miss that? Jesus, right, Arp is off for Morelos, we're going that way. How does Mabudi miss those two chances? Molina in, no foul given, Wallace picking it up. Jonas, Morelos breaks to Fassi, Rodrigo Fassi, who seems to have changed skin tone. <laughs> he certainly never looked like that before. Halliday, Doherty's flick on well wide of the post. He was... He never looked like that before, right? I'm not losing it. Pretty sure Rodrigo Fassi never looked like that. Oh, come on, just end, man. Right, concentrate, lads. I don't want to give away a daft goal here and end up blowing perfection. Smith in, Fassi nicks it, breaks to Doherty. Giving away to Byram over the top of the booty. Chance to kill the game. He's missed two sitters. Can he get an assist? He can in... Well, no, he doesn't get an assist for some reason. I think Costa must have just cut that out. Morelos has poked it away from him. Morelos' free kick just over the bar and it will now be perfection from 17 games but my god was that close I wasn't never really scared this don't get me wrong but it did look for a while there that we weren't going to get the breakthrough Murdoch to Smith Nick by Denswell is there a chance to get our third here Molina now just put that shine on it nah I think it's probably just going to fizzle out at a 2-0 Rangers victory again Continuing with perfection, which is exactly what we want. But we're no we're no sizzling. We've no got that that crisp sharpness that we had at the beginning of the season when we were absolutely stuffing teams. I mean the games are coming thick and fast now, so I suppose it's only fair that the lads slow down as they get a little bit tired. As Molina has it now. Can he finish? He can actually finish right at the death. Ninety four minutes out of ninety four minutes. He does manage to poke it in at the near post for 3-0. Scoreline absolutely flatters us. But I just need to hope that after the winter break, the lads can rally a little bit, get some of their energy back, and get into excellent form before we face off against Atletico Madrid, because we're going to need to be sharp for when we take them on. There's been a lot of speculation linking me with a vacant West Ham post absolutely not well that's another two victories two clean sheets this time actually as well one for McCrory one for Fulton so when we come back we're going to be taking on Hibs at Murrayfield before we go away to Dundee United we just beat Dundee United at Murrayfield but they gave us a bit of a scare 3-2 there late in the game 
So, uh, so we'll need to have our we'll need our wits about as we play that game. As I say, Hibs at Murrayfield first. That's going to be it for this episode. Pretty much just a bog standard episode. Two games we should have won. We won them comfortably. Job done. We're still perfect from 17 games. So listen, I hope you lads have enjoyed this one. If you have done, please give the, the video a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Of course, you'll get the Football Manager 19 stuff as soon as we drop it as a subscriber so thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time when we're taking on Hibs and Dundee United looking to close out the first half of the season with perfection